are here at the Davis Studio in South Burlington, and today we are going to talk to Chef Jonathan Davis about his pies. I've always had a deep passion for pie and pie crust. Good pie crust is like out of this world. <laughs> when I was younger, like I would have friends come over and I'd be like, oh, do you guys want to make a pie? Like, let's make a pie. So this is tortier. It's a French traditional meat pie with pork and beef and potatoes and seasoned with Dijon mustard, thyme, rosemary, sage. COVID's been crippling for the restaurant industry, which is really sad and scary and... Jonathan had to close his business, the Starving Artist Cafe, back in mid-March, and by August, he was making pies. I waited two months to officially decide to close that restaurant, and it wasn't until I was like, okay, it's not gonna come back. How can I still be a foodie and an entrepreneur? <laughs> what kind of food can like travel and like be reheated and hold quality? I think pie reminds you of like home or family a lot. I think that just in what it represents, it's like food like blanketed in in pastry. You can't mass produce pies well and and having like a homemade pie I think is really satiating and comforting. And I feel like the United States is behind on savory pie culture. And really like there's a rich history of making pie-like things, dumplings, samosas, calzones, like this idea of wrapping something in dough. As you go to Australia or South Africa or England or Scotland and like they have very specific meat pies that they do. Every week I prepare th between three and five different pie flavors based on what's seasonally available or what I'm feeling inspired to create. I tend to do more fruit and quiche and meat or vegetarian savory pies. And I think that's what's so great is I'm like able to like par cook them and then people can finish them in their own oven and have it like coming out fresh. I'm renting space from my mother who owns the Davis studio. The kids upstairs in the studios refer to me as the pie guy, as do a, a number of people. <laughs> I come from a family of artists and that is how, that's my medium is food. <laughs> Making your own graham cracker crumbs, that has blown my mind. I've like picked my own apples and picked my own berries. I love like the challenge of what can I do within this nine inch pie. I really value having like the taste of where you're from, supporting other people who have share similar food passions. The shoe fly is my, is my great aunt's recipe. Pie represents love and community and like nurturing. Hi, hello, how are you? Well, Jonathan, <laughs> I'm very well. Let's see, what kind of pie did you get this week? Support that goes beyond just like the exchange of goods. That's a big part of my personality and I wanted my business to represent that. Yay. There you are. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. You too, thank you so much. The fact that you're going somewhere to get like your pie from the pie guy. <laughs> pie, pie, yes, I love it. Jonathan, my friend and fellow nerd, I love him and he's my favorite chef. He makes the best hollandaise sauce I have ever had in my life. I'm sad that the starving artist has closed down, but I'm very glad that he's continuing his skills and I get to taste them. And I should disclose that I am a member of the Pie Society. My family and I have been getting pies from Jonathan since Thanksgiving every single week. During the instability of the pandemic, there is something so comforting about having pie. It feels warm and comfortable and it gives me a minor excuse to see Jonathan but in a time when we can't meet our friends so that's really in a weird way it does help yes it does feel better the quiche and the shoe fly perfect Thank you so much. my pleasure one French Canadian tortillere and one leek and parmesan quiche the sharing of a pie is like a really important aspect in the business so I kind of like that I have so many customers who will like come and they like split the pie with someone or they'll like order a sweet pie and like bring a slice to like each of their neighbors or family members. It's so rewarding to see how much people appreciate pie. I actually feel like I'm, I'm happier and more fulfilled making pies than I was running the restaurant. I have no plans to, uh, to switch post pandemic. Spread the word about Jonathan's pies, they're the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in pie heaven. 
we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Ava and I met uh, at another with another one of her, her Stuck in Vermont series uh, on the indoor ultimate frisbee through the winter uh, when I was uh, a little 15 year old. <laughs> yeah, so I'm delighted. I feel a Vermont celebrity. Wow, the whole circle, like the pie. <laughs>